For this lesson, we're going to be covering, covering object snapping particularly. We won't be covering the actual terrain or geometry snapping specifically to do with the terrain. We'll be more doing basically as it says right here. We'll cover vertex snapping, we'll, co we'll cover angular snapping, and then we'll also cover grid snapping. And we have little demonstrations to kind of illustrate the point and get us on the same page. So let's go through them so that we can understand exactly what we're trying to do. The first one is vertex snapping. With vertex snapping, basically it's going to take a point or a vertice, it's going to snap that as the pivot point to another vertice. So if we scroll over here, we can see exactly what we want to do. We want to have both of these points touch. So in order to do so, we need to activate vertex snapping. Let's grab this designer object and go up to the top here. You'll notice that we have toggle snapping to vertex. When we activate this, you'll see it says snap to vertex, and we have all these points that pop up. What we actually want to do is take this point, and holding the left mouse button down, we can drag it and snap it to this point, completely replicating what is seen in the distance. So let's go ahead and click again and deactivate it, and we've successfully used vertex snapping to snap two points to each other. This next lesson goes over the angular snapping, which we can see that we have 30, 45, and 90. And if we go off to the, the distance here, we can see that we have the angles of 30, 45, and 90 available to us. But we want to replicate these same angular values of snapping on the other objects. So to start off, we'll go and grab the 30. Let's click and select the object, and then up in the top here, we have the angular snapping. Let's click the left mouse button down and hold, and we're going to select 30. So let's activate it by clicking again, press the 2 key, and we can notice that we have some helpers here. We can see these points are actually 30 degree values. So if we click and hold down on the Z axis, we can snap it over so it's 30 degrees. Let's do the same for the other two. So we have 45. I'm going to hold down, pick 45, and snap over. And let's do this for the last one at 90. And now doing so, we've replicated exactly the same thing on the other side by just going into angular snapping. I'm going to deactivate it, and now we're going to go to the grid snapping section which is quite larger. I mean, this box is four. This is based on meters, so that means it's four meters in units. This one's two, this one's one, and then obviously that's 0.5. So in the distance, we can see that we want to stack them in this variety, and we can, use ang we can use grid snapping in order to do so. So let's first move this box back. We're going to select the meter increments, make sure it's one, activate with the with the actual left mouse button clicked, and we can see that we now have a meter grid up. And let's move this to the back here so we can have it on the same platform, but maybe a little bit over. I'm going to shrink it down to actually 0.5 so we can scoot it back and have the most area. So now we kind of have in the corner back here, which is exactly what we want. So let's go back to our number two and move this downward because we need to get it over in the corner as well. So we move it over and then we move it forward. We now have two boxes in position. So let's select the uh, one meter box and drag it downward. This should fit just quite snug. And lastly, we want to pick the 0.5 meter box, which is the same increment that we had.
But I actually think this is off slightly, so I'm going to select my box and make sure it's snapping properly. And it seems to be right in place. So now we've replicated the same meter setup inside of this lesson that shows here, here, with Angular, and then finally with vertex snapping. We'll cover the different other types of snapping, but this is specific to objects, and you'll use this quite a lot, so I wanted to cover this in the most basic sense.